What's up guys, it's Grant here from Zeus Fitness and I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got to get my kids from school in about 30 minutes, which gives me not very much time to work out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a 10 minute blast and it's going to be 10 exercises, no repeat for a minute of each with no transition time. We just jump straight into the exercise, okay? I'll coach you along the way. This is ideal for people who are short in time, which is the biggest excuse I get from people. They don't have enough time. This workout is gonna hit every muscle group in a short period of time. So it's ideal to do two, three, four times a week if you're short on time, but you wanna get your reps in. So without any further ado, let's get stuck in. Okay, we're gonna hit the timer here. We're gonna do each exercise for one minute and then we transition into the next one and we're going to do 10 of them. Now I'm using a selection of dumbbells, I got reasonably heavy, moderately heavy and light, okay? Grab whatever you can. If you don't have uh, very heavy ones or a selection, don't worry about it. We're going to start with a, a back lunge, front lunge. So we step back, come to a right angle on each side and step through. Back to starting position, swap sides. We're looking for a right angle between the hamstring and calf on each leg, on the back lunge, straight through into the front lunge, okay? Try not to bring the foot down halfway through the stride, okay? Power through, straight into the next one, okay? Your knees should be coming down just to graze the floor to make sure we're getting the right amount of depth, but we're not bouncing that knee off so we can spring up. We keep our back nice and straight, chest high, eyes looking forward with no tilting from the hips. It's going to get your glutes, going to get your quads, and it's going to get your heart rate up too. Okay, now we're going into push-ups after this, okay? So, ideally, you get the hands directly underneath the shoulders, Okay, you lower yourself down and press back up. So you get a high plank core engaged, like so. However, if that's too much for you, go from the knees. Keep the head in line with the spine, lower yourself down, like so, but bring your hips with you. Okay, don't leave your backside up in the air. Take the weight with your chest. Breathe out as you're pressing up. Breathe in on the way back down. Again, make sure your spine is straight. Don't push your head forward either to give you the illusion that you're getting down deeper than you actually are. Keep everything in line. Okay, now we're in the renegade row. So take uh, probably heavier dumbbells for this. High plank position, core engaged. Pull up, bring it down and onto the other side. So just try not to stick your backside up in the air with these. Try and keep that high plank. Make sure when you row it, you're not just lifting it up off the ground and setting it straight back down. Make sure you're getting full range of motion. So your elbow would be visible uh, from the other side if you were watching. Breathe out on exertion. Breathe in as you reset. And stop, okay. Up next, we got tabletop kick ups. No dumbbells needed for this. It's one for the hamstrings and core. Get the soles of your feet, butt one inch off the floor. Lift the hips up as you straighten out the leg. Don't kick up towards the ceiling. You lift the hips up and you extend the leg. So the femur bones should be in line throughout. The main part is using the hamstring, glutes and lower back to raise those hips up toward the ceiling. Try not to kick up like this, okay? It's not what we're after. As I said, knees stay aligned. The hips are lifting and the legs straightening. 
So even though it's called a kick up, I'm not kicking up. Straight in the night. And stop. Okay, what do we got next? All right, we got Arnie presses. So maybe use the heavier ones for these. Dumbbells up in line with the eyes. Nails facing you. Out to the side. Press up. Back to the down eye level and repeat. So, best thing to remember this guys, imagine we're playing peekaboo. We're covering our eyes, opening up, press, back in. Try not to drop them down here. Keep them up in line with the eyes. And keep your core strong so we're not arching the back. And we breathe out as we press. Stop. Okay, what do we got next? We got Eyes Magic Bicep Curl. So moderately heavy dumbbells for these. We hold them both up flexed, okay? Then we lower the one down, bring it back up to starting position. Then we go with the other one. So the biceps, one is always flexed throughout this. They don't get any respite in between reps. You keep your shoulders pinned back. You keep those elbows in tight by your sides. But don't dig your elbows into your hips, okay? We're not looking for any rest time here. We want time under tension for the biceps. And don't bring them right up to your shoulders either. Your biceps should be blocking the path of the dumbbell to the shoulder. Just up to here, back down. And you will feel that burning if you're doing them right. No swinging. Just keep it strict, controlled, do it light, and do it right. And stop. Okay, what have we got next? All right, we got a pullover crunch. So I'm gonna use light dumbbells for these. We start with the dumbbells raised above our heads like so. Feet off the floor. We're gonna breathe out as we crunch up. So just imagine you're trying to touch your ankles with the dumbbells. Can we fully straighten out, but don't let the dumbbells or the heels hit the floor. Breathe in here and breathe out as you crunch. That's going to target all your abs, upper, middle and lower abs all at once. It's a tough little exercise, but it's a great one. So tick all boxes when we're stuck for time. Stop, okay. Up next, we got reverse grip uh, kickback. So, feet hip width apart, tilt from the hips, elbows up in line with the shoulders. Now, usually we do a kickback from here, but we're going to turn our nails facing the opposite way and go from here. Now, we start at a right angle between the bicep and forearm. We fully straighten back. So try not to bring it right up to your shoulders so we get some momentum. Your elbows and arms are in line with the back throughout. And your back's nice and flat, so you have soft knees, sticking your backside out like it's working, and tilting from the hips with no arch in the upper or lower back. And we breathe out as we extend, breathe in as we lower it back down. Stop. Okay, what do we got next? Uh, oh, we got chest flies. So maybe go with the moderately heavy dumbbells for these. Uh, we're gonna lie flat on our back. And we lower them down to our sides. You wanna keep the dumbbells in line with your shoulders. Soft elbows, but don't let those elbows bend anymore as we uh, continue the reps. So we don't wanna turn it into a chest press. We wanna keep the arms at the same bend from the start of the rep to the middle of the rep. And we breathe out as we squish them together, but not only are we squishing our dumbbells together, we're contracting those pecs together for maximum squeeze.
hooked up. And finally, we've got side level jacks. Okay, so there's a nasty little one. So we stand here, light dumbbells, step to the left, and do a side lateral raise. Now, we keep moving throughout this, and this is gonna burn the deltoids crazy. So we always come back to the middle, and we step straight out. The dumbbell heads are facing forward. The dumbbells come up in line with the ears. There's no real rest time in this. We go straight on it. Oh. And stop. Right guys, that's our 10 minutes done. That flew by pretty quickly. I gotta go collect my kids from the school in about 15 minutes here, so it's a tight, tight push. I'm gonna have to get there, so I'm gonna have to love you and leave you. But quickly before I do, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so you don't miss this fitness workout again. Leave your comments below. See you soon.